we need to adopt to the fact that we can't trust anything we see. Wrong guy. Because I'm Listen, America, Donald Trump. I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do. The problem with videos is that, you know, as opposed to just images, is that videos are really something that was always used to convince people of, you know, this is what really happened. He would send us fakes, we would analyze them and say, we can detect them. And then he would try to make them better and better and better. And that's what you want, because you don't want the person detecting the fake to create it. You want somebody who's very good at creating fakes, who's trying to fool you to, to create that data, because that means we're going to push our algorithms for detection much, much further. We try to understand how do people move, how does the mouth move, how does the expressions change, in part because we think that those are properties of the video that the machine learning can't currently analyze, and that means we're less vulnerable to counterattack. So anytime you build forensic techniques, you always have to ask yourself, how will this be um, used to make better fakes? Because the deep fakes are being made frame after frame after frame after frame, sometimes there's little slips between the frame, like the face jiggles a little bit. If you watch the video at full speed, you may not see it, but if you slow it down frame to frame to frame, sometimes you see these little glitches. The pitiful impressionist. Doom deliver no one's lips. What people need to do is, for example, trust where the source comes from. Use common sense to even see if this is something that is even plausible to you. Maybe that's one of the, the at least the most positive things about you know, the spread of this, this information because it forces us to think. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. That's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. It may sound basic, but how we move forward in the age of information is going to be the difference between whether we survive or whether we become some kind of f***ed up dystopia.